Dr. Wachter, you are the director of the Division of Economic Risk and Analysis, DARA. Uh, while DARA's economic analyses in each of the individual equity market structure proposals are significantly flawed and deficient, the most noteworthy flaw across every proposal is the SEC's failure to reasonably attempt to quantify their costs and benefits. The SEC repeatedly admits that it is, and I quote, unable to quantify, estimate, or know the economic effects, and it states nearly 100 times that it is, again, uncertain of the impacts its proposals will have. As a chief economist, you are willfully ignoring your duty to provide adequate economic analysis, ma'am. For example, nearly half of the data tables in the best execution proposals economic analysis are virtually identical to tables presented in the order competition proposal. Is it standard practice for the SEC to copy and paste parts of its economic analysis for two separate proposals, ma'am? Chairman, thank you for your interest in our economic analysis on the equity market structure proposals. And I'm asking about the copy and paste. About copy paste. So the economic analysis has several different parts. And one very important parts part is the baseline. The baseline is the world as it is. So we have to measure costs and benefits against some flat line, the world as it is. So for each of those four proposals, there's going to be some commonality, and that's why you'll see some of the text repeated between them. But ma'am, you haven't quantified their costs and benefits. Uh, 100 times you say you, you don't know, you're uncertain. And as I said, you're, my, my question is specifically, is it standard practice for you to cop, cut and paste parts of your economic analysis for two separate proposals? Yes or no? So, uh, Chairman, when the baselines are similar. Okay, ma'am, I need to reclaim my time. We've, I'd like you to answer the specific questions. Do you agree that these proposals could interact with each other? For example, the order competition rule needs to comply with the best execution rule, correct? Yes or no? So the order competition rule and the best execution rule do solve different problems. And... Both of the costs and benefits in each of those separate rules are going to be evaluated they interact with each against other. the baseline. And they okay. are. I don't know what this baseline is, but we're going to move on. Uh, Director Zhu, typically significant market structure reforms have been carried out with comprehensive outreach to investors and businesses, broker dealers, exchanges, and various other market participants before formal rulemaking. However, in this instance, the SEC appears to be moving at a breakneck speed without giving the public an adequate opportunity to meaningfully comment on the proposed changes. In 2005, when the SEC adopted Regulation National Market Systems, Reg NMS, it held multiple public hearings and roundtables, convened an advisory committee, issued several concept re releases, and gave adequate comment periods allowing for ample public input. Why hasn't the SEC done any of these things this time around or provided any justification for the pace and the breadth of these rulemakings, sir? Chair Wagner, thank you for the question. Um, the, the public engagement part is uh, extremely important for us in the rulemaking process. Um, before we propose regulation, um, the inequity market releases in December, um, there were extensive discussion with the market participants over the years before. Uh, I would say ever since the adoption of Regulation AMS in 2005, the ongoing discussion has been really fruitful, and in fact, some of the <coughs> ideas uh, that we eventually learn from the market come from the market itself, including lower access fee, including lower tick size, including reform to Rule 605. So my answer to you, Madam, is that indeed we have engaged actively with the market. Okay, Dr. Wachter, let's try again. Each of these four rules are significant and will have a material impact on trading outcomes for millions of investors. With the rules scheduled to go into effect simultaneously, how can you, as the director of DARA, with a straight face, claim to measure, 
to what degree each of the four rules contributed to or a better or worse outcome for investors. Wouldn't it make more sense to issue them incrementally so each rule's efficacy could be measured distinctly? Chairman, so you're concerned about the interaction of the, of the rules should the proposals be adopted. So right now, these are four proposals. They're proposed rules. And so we're measuring the economic effects against the baseline, which is actually our standard practice. 